today I'm doing a demonstration of an Acorn 130 straight stair lift. Now this lift is built for straight stairs. If you have no turns, then this lift would be one of the suitable options. Now this is folded up at the moment. You can unfold it by lifting down the footrest, the seat, both armrests, and then you simply sit on and you're good to go. So the user would actually sit on this stair lift and to go upstairs, you can either use this side or this side. They both are bi-directional. So I'm pushing it up. It does take a few seconds for it starts moving and away you go. And you keep that button held until you reach the top of the stairs. When it reaches the top of the stairs, it will automatically stop as you'll see now. Now we've reached the top of the stairs. To get off the stair lift, you do not lift up the armrest and jump out. You've got a wide open stairwell in front of you. You basically have these two paddles. See these? They're on one link. So the user would push down one of these paddles and they'd swing the seat around to get off. Doing this actually blocks the staircase. It's very hard for me to get down in between that. The user gets off and you can either leave that seat there or leave it to someone else in the house to fall back around. I'm now gonna demonstrate traveling downstairs on this stair lift. So I'm gonna push and hold the direction I wanna go. And away we go. There is also safety sensors on this. So if a foot was here, it would automatically stop and it will show a code, which I'll just show you in a few minutes. Off we go. And once again, it stopped automatically. So if there's an issue with the stair lift, we'd usually ask for what code is showing up here. So right now, that's shown C4, C means charging. If there was an issue, so E2, because I'm actually touching the safety edge, would mean an error, okay, or a fault. There's also F codes, which are more serious, and I'll leave that to your imagination, and what that F stands for. So some features of this stair lift, you have a seat belt. You can only start that in one go. If you do let go, then it won't come up at anymore. It's designed to stop a user, for example, who may be slouching down in the stair lift over a progressive period of time. So where a car seat belt will actually stop on impact, this will actually stop the second you let go and try to pull it again. That's not moving unless you go back to the start. And it clips in here just like a normal seat belt. To fold it up, you lift up the armrests, Lift up the seat and you can lift this up with your hand or use your foot and that's it stowed for the next time it's to be used. There is also remote controls with these stair lifts. So one you'd usually have hanging here and one up the top of the stairs and that's for the user to call the stair lift up or down. So a bit more of a in-depth look at the swivel seat. While it's folded, I can show you a bit easier, but basically, when you get to the top of the stairs, you push down this lever or that one and you can swing the seat around and it'll lock in 45 degrees or it'll also lock in 90. You must ensure that seat is locked in before you get off. Otherwise, there's a chance that that seat could swing back and you're going down the stairs in a hurry, quite frankly. If you want to prevent kids accessing this stair lift, you can use this key. So I'm gonna switch this key off and take it out. And now that stair lift will not move unless I have the key back in. Another feature of the stair lift is if you're planning on not using this for a long period of time, the last thing you want is this thing charging continuously when it's not getting used because you're constantly trickle charging the batteries. And in our opinion, that's what can cause battery damage or even in worst case venting which means you'll have a rotten egg smell as the batteries gas out. We've seen this not necessarily due to 
it being sat there for a period of time, but that a lot of the time, constant trickle charge without use can cause serious damage to the batteries. If you are going away, you simply, this off button is hidden on purpose. You switch this off. Then you would continue up the stairs. And right here is a transformer and you'd switch that off as well. If you don't know already, Stairless run off batteries, two 12 volt batteries, which are a common part that Stairless engineers can get relatively easily. And you usually would get multiple return trips up and down before the batteries would be at a level where you can't use the stair lift anymore. So just covering some of the safety sensors. So these move in and out. If there was someone underneath that stair lift, there's a pressure pad there as well. If the seat is swiveled, you hear that click? That's a micro switch that'll stop that seat from moving. If you even try to go upstairs on the stair lift right now, it won't work, as there's a further micro switch here that would prevent the stair lift from moving unless the armrest is down. And just covering more safety sensors here. So if there was a hand there, if there was an item here, if there was an item here, the stair lift is nearly annoying in the amount of safety sensors it has, but ultimately safety first. You can hear it beeping. The reason why that's beeping is I'm off the charge point. See, the Acorn stair lift actually charges on a charge strip here. So as you can see, that's where it charges, top and bottom. So if the stair lift isn't in a charge point, it's gonna continuously beep for about 40 seconds until it goes into something called hibernation mode. And from there, it'll go to a semi-sleep state. Your batteries will go down over time if that's not put back on charge or switched off. Another thing to note about any stair lift for that matter is they bolt down to the steps. As you'll see, steps all the way up. They never attach to the walls. There's a low voltage line coming in here as well, which means if something was to happen to that wire, no one's going to get killed. And uh, essentially, that's all that's involved in a stair lift. It's very straightforward. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.